Good morning. morning. So today is a really exciting day. Me and Josh are finally moving out of our flat. So it's been, what, seven months since we put the flat up on the market. It should have been done way quicker. We were expecting it to be done in June, but here we are yeah. in September. There were like delays and delays. And yeah, um, do you know what? I'm the most excited I've been since I've uh, went to Centre Parks. And that was a and good holiday. Had a holiday. <laughs> so yeah, we literally viewed the house in March. We viewed a couple, but this one just seemed to fit us more for the time and for the desperation of moving out of here. Um, there's been so many delays. At one point, we didn't even think we'd be coming out of this flat and ended up being homeless. But over the past couple of weeks, it's kind of turned around completely. So like when you move house, there's just so many like tosses and turns you don't know which direction we're going to go in so yeah today we're moving it's going to be a really busy day we've been working for the past four days to be fair like packing everything up and we're in the kitchen at the moment as you can see we had a shelf here we've taken that down still got to do some washing up but it's absolute chaos at the moment like we're slowly getting it but it just feels like it's never ending like four days of work and it's just not getting any smaller so i'll show you what we've done so far this is the kitchen area it's a complete mess but it's organized mess so don't worry about that um the hallway we've got all the kitchen stuff that we're putting in that box there and then this is the bedroom where we've currently got everything that's going to be going in the moving vans like this is all ready to go so yeah really really sad to see it all empty and like i don't know our mirror was there the bed was there the wardrobes were there and to see it all like this is actually really sad so yeah this is the end of a chapter for us like we moved here five years ago and it's been a really nice time, we've really enjoyed it, but over the past couple of years we've been quite miserable, like, just staying in the flat, we've got no garden, we couldn't have pets or anything like that, and we just really wanted to get out of the shared ownership scheme that we were in, and just go and buy fully properly. So yeah, what I'll do, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit to give you an update, we're not sure when we're going to be getting the keys for the flat, but there could be some point today, hopefully around 12, 1 o'clock we're planning for, but we just don't know, this whole process has been so stressful, so we just don't know what's going to happen yet, so... Fingers crossed we get them sooner rather than later today because the moving vans are booked between 12 and 2 so we're just hoping that it's all so. done before then so yeah. Good morning Bruno, how are you doing? He's so confused as to what's going on right now aren't you baby? This is the living area, so as you can see, we've emptied it all out now. Um, so yeah, really good progress. In here is our bedroom. So completely empty, it's really, really sad to see it like this. Like there's nothing in here. Um, so it's all cleaned and ready to be lived in by someone else. And then in the kitchen, as you can see, everything is now stripped apart. Uh, washing machine's out, the tumble dryer's out. Everything is out, we've got all our cleaning products there. And then this is the study room, so as you can see again, it's completely empty now. Um, it's been hoovered, we're gonna just give it a nice little mop. We've got a mop bucket there ready. Um, all the cupboards are empty, so um, again, we've emptied all of this out, so it's all ready to go. And then the last room which we've been doing is the bathroom, so yeah, we've got to take that and pack that away. Okay. What's uh... We've got Greenaway's finest general assistant on mop. Go on, George. Yeah, Go on, give it? that room a little something, something. Um, but yeah, we are pretty much almost finished moving out of our flat. All we've got to do now is get the phone call to get the keys and pick them up. So yeah, really, really excited now. I haven't had any breakfast, haven't had any lunch, haven't really drank much. So we're going to try and have a little lunch break if we can. But no, no, like the moment we do that, we'll get the keys and the phone call. So yeah. <laughs> Little biscuit. Hi guys, so a quick update. We are currently sort of divided at the moment. So yeah, Josh is currently emptying out the flat. He's going to be giving it a last little clean and then taking the keys back to the estate agents um, and locking up there. Excuse me. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm currently waiting in the car to get the keys for the house, which would be about five minutes. We're literally waiting for that phone call now just to get the keys and uh, for the monies to be confirmed that they've been transferred, ready to move in. So yeah, currently sat in the car waiting, got my phone on me here. We've got a very grumpy doggy in the car, haven't we? Yes, we have. You want the keys to the house? He does. Look at him. Hi guys, so it's actually been a week since we've received our keys to our new house. As you can see, I'm in the house right now. 
everything and anything went wrong on our moving day and honestly it was just so so hectic we didn't end up vlogging anything for like a week we we're just in like complete shock of the whole process and just wanted to chill and basically just try and find a way of getting our routine back and yeah the moving day went so bad i can't remember if i told you guys we were waiting to get the keys um we're just waiting and waiting we didn't actually get the keys till about five o'clock in the afternoon and by that point our moving van company was finished everything was dumped on the driveway and in the back of the garden my brother had to go to work and then not long after harry had to go as well so we we're literally on our own unpacking everything into the house so yeah, it was a complete nightmare towards the end. Um, but yes, we're here, we've got the keys, and I'm gonna quickly show you around. My plan was to actually show you guys what the house looked like completely empty, but as I said, everything just went wrong. So I will do this now. Bear in mind that everything's basically been lived in for the past seven days, so yes. So as you can already see in the background there, this is our hallway. As you can see, it's quite old. Even the radiators are old, which we're gonna be getting replaced soon. All of this will be coming down. All the wallpaper will be coming down as well. Cause as you can see, it's like really, really old fashioned. So there's a lot of work to be done here, but obviously it's not a major priority at the moment. The main thing is we are in. So yes, in this little cupboard here, we've got all of our electrics and stuff like that in. Pretty boring, pretty basic. Quite a lot of potential there create a nice storage sort of area um and as we're coming towards this way anyway here is the kitchen so put a little light on for you guys so obviously like i said we've already set this up we've got the fridge freezer here so the kitchen is in a pretty good condition we were pretty surprised by this obviously we've got a washing machine set up now we've got a new microwave so yeah we've got a nice little setup going on here pretty homely pretty cozy and yeah we've got like a little area here like a breakfast bar but i guess we can't really sit here because it's not that wide so yeah we've got loads of plans for this kitchen kitchen area which we will talk to you guys about hopefully this wall will be coming down opening up this room so it's a nice big open kitchen diner sort of area depending on how much that costs obviously and there's bruno attacking his towel lovely moving into this room so yeah this is kind of like the dining room area which again is just a room we're just not going to even bother with yet because obviously we're going to get that wall taken down hello Oh, you like this. He, Bruno just doesn't like knitwear, as you can see. Anything knitwear, he just seems to think it's like a big, fluffy sort of toy. Thanks, Bruno. That's enough. Cheers. So, yeah, um, as we back away from the kitchen dining sort of room that we're going to do, we are now in our living room. So, again, that's our hallway there. We've got these doors to kind of, like, separate the rooms. I want to keep the doors there, but obviously change the doors because I just feel like it just creates a nice sort of flowy sort of space walking through here and like, yeah, obviously we've got a TV set up there, but we don't actually have any connection to Sky or anything like that yet. They're coming out next week to install everything. So we don't have any Wi-Fi or anything at the moment. And obviously here we've got our sofas. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping these or just like getting new ones. Just depends on what we kind of want in this space really. So yeah, this is our living room area. It's smaller than the one we had at the flat i think so yeah as we go upstairs let's put the light on oh wrong one still getting used to it so we have got again the wooden paneling goes all the way up which obviously we don't want to keep we've got these old wooden doors which again we're going to be replacing and yeah through this door basically we have our toilet uh it is separate from the main bathroom here so again, we want to get this middle wall knocked through to create an open bathroom area because we just find it a little bit too kind of like small and really restricting, like especially through here of our bathroom. We've got our bath, we've got a sink, but then it feels like we've kind of got to go sideways to enter it. So yeah, our plans are to knock through this wall here to create a big, normal, open plan bathroom suite so yeah so the hallway isn't really that big it's just like a sort of you know doors are here and then yeah there's not really a lot of space between the hallway and the bedrooms so going into the main bedroom here again we've already set up a little bit Bruno keeps like attacking his bed I don't know what he hates about it but he just absolutely hates it so this is the main bedroom it's absolutely huge compared to our old one but even though our old bedroom is actually quite big to be fair we've been quite lucky all of our black bags there is literally all of our clothes we've been living off for the past week kind of tried to make it you know as comfortable as we can because we just know there's so much work we need to do here there's literally no point trying to settle or put furniture up because there's no point as you come around we've got like this big sort of like open space here which I might put my dressing table in I'm not sure yet um it just seems like a really awkward sort of like 
space to you so we'll see what happens there but it's really horrible ugly radiator here as well which obviously is going to be going yeah we don't put any of this on because we just don't know if it works safely or not so yeah this is basically our bedroom um it looks really like scruffy um i wish we could do stuff to it now but obviously we've got to wait for all of this work to be done first before we actually do anything and as we go through this door we've got our study we've tried to kind of create a desk area we're sort of unpacking that today just that we can start doing some work and stuff on this and yeah like over this side we've got some storage cupboards which again is really handy like in this one here similar to the bedroom we've got a nice big storage cupboard to put loads and loads of stuff in we're gonna again do this room like really nice new shelving area put a bit of paint over it make it look nice and then hopefully that'll be really good to use and then in this little door here again it's another like storage cupboard but we do have the boiler in this one so we've kind of put our towels there for now um and yeah we've got this really horrible ugly boiler like going all the way up through the attic so yeah that's fun so that's going to be getting sort of like replaced with a nice new one so yeah that is basically the tour of our house we don't really have a lot going on at the moment like i said we've just kind of been like resting and just making the most of being here because it's taken so long to get the keys and the process just taken so long but yeah if we had the work done and everything arranged obviously it would be a different story but as we don't have anything planned yet in terms of like plumbing and things like that we've just kind of got to sit around and wait and be patient with all like the painting and stripping the walls and stuff bruno is just absolutely obsessed with the garden he just loves it so much he just seems to think he owns it <laughs> um which is nice because obviously living in the flat we never had a garden at all josh has tried to take these trees down because they're full of spiders and they're just kind of like dying anyway so we started doing that a few days ago but it was like the last day of sun for a while so yeah we've actually got a shed in here as well i don't have the keys on me but i'll show you guys like the inside of that as we go we've got a greenhouse as well which we thought would be in better condition it's just not really something that we want to use so we're going to take all of this out to put like grass seeds down hopefully this side of the year i'm not sure yet it just depends on how things go with the actual house and then here we've got like i guess it was like an allotment area but as you can see we've got a big problem because bruno keeps digging a massive hole here so we're gonna try and fence this bit off put some grass seeds on depends on how that works with bruno digging up the garden so yeah that's been our moving vlog slash like house tour i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and make sure you subscribe because hopefully once i get my mojo back to film again and everything sort of gets more settled here i'll be creating more vlogs about like renovation and like before and afters and stuff like that so you guys can actually follow our journey on basically making this house our own home and yeah really exciting really looking forward to it so don't forget to subscribe like this video if you enjoyed watching and i'll see you guys very soon bye